you've spent any amount of time online looking at 3D prints, you've probably seen these filaments that have two colors. You got this gold and then black. And I go ahead and split this dragon basically down the middle with gold and black. And you can do that with a pretty easy calibration here to determine that. And I'll show you how to do that in the slicer. But one thing I just learned recently, we've got a red black here and you see these lines right here? Right there, right there. So uh, some geometries that's probably unavoidable. Uh, sometimes it's gonna be cheap filament because basically the way the filament's wound, I guess it twists or something. Um, it'll cause those lines. Also the bamboo A1 and the A1 mini, apparently the way the extruder is made, I guess this is a unique problem to them to where you will see these types of artifacts more often in those printers. Doesn't mean you can't do it. And you'll still benefit from orienting your colors correctly, but it's something to note that I had never heard about and it's actually on their product page but I'm gonna go ahead and pop over to the slicer and show you how. Okay, right, so we're on the computer and I'm gonna scroll down to this listing. I had to find it. Uh, so you have to scroll down past all this information to this area I highlighted. When printing with PLA silk dual color filament, there's a small chance of filament rotation, potentially causing uneven color transitions. The A series printers have a higher risk due to their special structure. So use of this filament with A series printers is not recommended. So I didn't know that that was a specific A-series use case uh, to consider. It still works. You can still print it with it. It's just you have a higher chance of those, like, you know, weird other color lines or whatever the case is, like I said. So you're going to want to go to this model right here, the dual tricolor filament angle finder uh, configuration calibration coin, a lot of keywords, uh, from Blue Kiwi. It's a great model. It takes, like, I don't know, 16 minutes or something. So go ahead and open it up. You don't need to change settings. They've already done that for us. Got some stuff, whatever, all good. Make sure you choose the right filament, but otherwise you don't have to mess with anything. Go ahead and slice and print that off. And it's going to show you, basically, on the edges here, each one is 10 degrees. Uh, for the most part, mine have all been like 90 or 45. But, you know, I guess any brand could be any sort of way. Uh, essentially, it'll just tell you, like, you're going to print it off and then see, basically, let's say black and gold are right here. We have black to the left, right, uh, gold to the right, rather, sorry. Uh, so you're going to know, oh, okay, cool. So I can replicate having a black and gold left to right divide if I just rotate my model 90 degrees. So if you were to print a Benchy, so default orientation for Benchy works. I'll spin it towards us. But in that case, you'd be like, okay, great. This is how I want to print the Benchy if you want it split down the middle, right? Or if you're like, you know, I want it differently, then you'd be like, okay, I actually want to rotate it 45 degrees because you want, say, all black to the left here and all uh, gold to the right, or whatever the case is. Because, like I said, it's not always going to be 90 degrees. But that's how you're going to end up using this, so that you can get the middle divide or, you know, however you want to do it.